What's going on, Unbox Bros? We have another video here for you. Uh, today we're going to be going over the remote play on your Android devices. Now, this application uh, was actually uh, outdated uh, for quite some time uh, for the past couple of months because uh, Sony released the uh, news update for the PlayStation and it basically caused the previous Remote Play app to stop working. So in the past month, there has been released a new Remote Play app um, for the Android devices, uh, any Android devices. Um, as to where the uh, remote play is only for the Sony uh, Xperia uh, branded devices. Uh, the, uh, the internal developers, they've created this app so that you can use it on any Android device out there. Um, so I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to do this and how to actually set it up from that point. Now you can also use your DualShock 4 and uh, connect it uh, via Bluetooth to your Android device. Uh, from that point. So let's go ahead and click on it here and uh, just a basic setup. Uh, it is a little bit I found slower than the previous remote place but it does the job as far as you know setting it up it's a little bit slow but it does the job and then you can play afterwards. Uh, so let's go ahead and click next here guys and we're gonna click on um, it's gonna ask you to sign in in the beginning so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and uh, and click sign in. So guys, I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and sign into this and we'll go from there. All right guys, so as you can see, I just signed into my PSN account. Uh, it's searching for uh, the uh, PlayStation uh, 4 itself. So we're gonna actually click on register manually and uh, it gives you the steps on how to basically get the actual code so you can register uh, your Android device for remote play. So let me go ahead and show you guys how you can get the code um, on the uh, on the PlayStation 4 um, so let me uh, quickly get there alright guys so we are right here uh, what you're going to want to do is go into settings and then once you click on the settings you want to go to uh, devices or sorry remote play connection settings and you want to click on add device and then there is your code right there so that's the code you're going to enter uh, on the remote play application so let's go ahead and do that guys alright guys so let's enter the code here so we're gonna put it as two zero four two six five eight five all right and let's click on register all right so it's uh, connecting all right so right there it's saying the analog uh, sticks are on the screen so just like any previous remote play uh, application this is how you would use it so right there I'm gonna hit back and as you can see I'm connected very smooth now guys as I said in the previous video when I did the play Maria for iOS uh, the remote, remote play application for iOS devices uh, I indicated that you do need to have your PS4 connected via uh, Ethernet to your router or modem uh, for better uh, st stabilization so that you can get a good connection and it doesn't lag uh, from that point. Uh, you also want your either your Android device or your iOS device connected to a 5 gigahertz connection. So if your router is dual band that will work just make sure that your device is connected to the 5 gigahertz um, connection. Uh, that way you don't see any lag and it works very smoothly from that point. Um, so I'm going to quickly just show you guys here, um, you know, that, you know, it works great. Uh, we're going to, looks like I have an update, but I'm going to skip that. So very nice crisp color, guys. Um, so very smooth. And I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit of a gameplay. Now I did say, I did indicate that you can connect this via... Uh, your DualShock 4 so you can connect it via Bluetooth to your Android device and you can also play this so you, you need no root for it or anything like that um, so this should work perfectly fine alright guys so as you can see right here pretty clear image I mean the image is 1080p uh, which is pretty nice uh, you got your analog stick so your on-screen keyboard 
or your on-screen controller. Uh, it is a lot bolder than the previous versions of Remote Play, which is what I like about it. You can actually see the buttons and the configuration on the screen, where to the past ones, they were a little, a little bit faded out. Now, it is a little bit hard to play with the games, uh, some games uh, using the on-screen controller. Um, so that's why I'm going to show you guys how to connect your DualShock 4 uh, to, your, uh, to your Android device uh, via Bluetooth and, uh, you know, get it connected and play with that. Because some games, it's it's really hard to you know use the the virtual uh, virtual controller on there. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of show you guys how to do that and go from there. All right, guys. So to connect your DualShock 4 to your Android device, you have to put the DualShock 4 in the mode uh, into Bluetooth visible mode right now to be able to connect it. And in, in order to do that, you want to hold the uh, share button and the PlayStation button at the same time and the lights were, are gonna start blinking, uh, indicating it's a, in the mode to be paired. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm gonna hold and PlayStation button at the same time. Okay, and keep holding guys. And as you can see, it's blinking right now. So let me show you that it's being detected on the device and it's ready to be paired. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So, all right, so let's go into settings here. And once we're in settings, we wanna to go to Bluetooth and uh, we wanna turn on the Bluetooth and automatically uh, it should see the wireless controller. We can go ahead and pair it and it's fully paired to it right now. So guys, uh, subscribe. A comment like if you like this video uh, we're gonna be coming out with new videos so you don't want to miss that make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, to keep up with the latest videos from unbox bros um, so I will be linking the uh, the link uh, in the description for this app so you can go ahead and install it um, and as always guys stay unboxing stay unboxing